So let me come back to popular initiative. I want to make some seven quick points on this. Who are the promoters? You know, we wish to submit on this that against all evidence which was not controverted that the promoters of this initiative was Honorable Dennis Waweru and Honorable Junette Mohammed. The court insists on finding that His Excellency President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta was the promoter of this initiative against all evidence. We want to submit categorically that the promoters of the popular initiative we are talking about in this case were the two gentlemen we have mentioned. But because anyone is allowed to support any person in this country, including the president, including this court, can support the initiative in the words of Article 257. My Lord, in the entire 315 pages of the judgment, the one thing the court does not do is take the bill that is being examined and come to the end of the bill, as is usually necessitated, and ask, and that is on page 42 of the bill, so who are described as the promoters? That is the one question the court does not pose. 315 pages. My Lord, I invite you to look at volume 5, page 2116 to 2158, especially at page 2158. It clearly shows that it is an initiative, the Building Bridges Initiative. And the word initiative there is used because those are the words of Article 257. It's an initiative. My Lord, it's an initiative promoted by Honorable Dennis Waweru and Honorable Junette Mohammed. To demonstrate that point, my Lord, I invite you to look at Volume 7, page 31110 and 31117. They are affidavit of Dennis Waweru. In that affidavit, paragraph 1, paragraph 18, and paragraph 19 and 29 are very clear. Honorable Dennis Waweru says that I and Honorable Junet Muhammad are the promoters of this initiative. He then describes how they engage with the IBC and describes how they collected the signatures. My Lord, that affidavit was uncontroverted. How do you ignore such a fundamental statement? My Lord, I invite you again. So, sorry, I can't really say that affidavit is at page? Page, uh, volume 7, page 31110 to page 3117. Particularly, my lords, paragraph 1, paragraph 18, 19, and 29. My lords, a popular initiative, and we want to reiterate that, starts at the point in which the promoter, having generated an idea, has reduced that idea into a bill. It is important to note that under Article 157.3, whatever ideas you have, you cannot present those ideas for a referendum or for a vote. You must reduce them into a bill. And once you reduce them into a bill, you must collect one million signatures. It is at that point that the initiative starts. My Lord, you will see from the letter to the IEBC, signed by the two gentlemen, dated 18th 
November 2020. It is in volume 7, page 3154. 3154. They initiate the process. That is where the popular initiative started. They wrote to IBC and said, we have developed a bill. We want to collect signatures. Can you guide us? The IBC accepted them as the promoters, not anyone else. And the letter from the IBC is dated 24th November 2020. It is in the same volume, volume 7, page 3156. 3156. They were then authorized to collect signatures, which they did. My Lord, having duly complied and submitted those signatures to the IBC, the IBC then did a letter to the counties as is required by the Constitution. That is the letter dated 26th January 2021. Forwarding the bill, that letter is in volume 4, Volume 4 of Appeal, page 1884. And it expressly confirms to the counties who the promoters are. My Lord, I also invite you to have a look at page 1823. Page 1823. And on that page, the IBC says in paragraph 1, the said initiative was promoted by Honorable Dennis Waweru and Honorable Junet Muhammad. Paragraph 1, page 1823. My Lord, without a doubt, the promoters of this initiative are the two gentlemen described. That submission was made to the Superior Court, my Lord but the court ignored it without comment. That submission is in volume 1, page 90, paragraph 133. Indeed, my lords, as we'll notice, in the additional evidence supplied by the Third Way Alliance, in this case, the JLAC report, it will be noted that the two gentlemen again appeared before Parliament as promoters and were accepted as such. My last point on this, my Lord, a lot of argument has been made in respect of a task force, in respect of a select committee, and, uh, and otherwise. My Lord, let it be on record that the task force was in place between 24th May 2018 to October 2019, and the select committee between 10th January 2020 and 30th June 2020. As of 30th June 2020, there was no task force, there was no select committee. And an effort to tie those two bodies to this initiative is therefore futile. 